What's up guys? Today we're looking at Dope Mount, one of the most effective and powerful passes to mount. One I use all the time and one I think you'll easily be able to add into your game after watching this video. It can be done in Gi and No Gi and I'll be showing you in both. Dope Mount has become a little less popular over the years as people fear the leg lock threat, but it is extremely hard if not impossible to get leg locked if done right. To enter into the position, we need our partner on their back with both knees facing the same direction, and then we can put our knee between their legs. I'll be showing you many of my favorite ways to enter into Dope Mount later on in the video, but see how I stick my knee in between Nikki's legs and then direct my knee right back towards her? Knee positioning is absolutely crucial in Dope Mount. Once it's in between Nikki's legs, I want to direct it back towards Nikki, which will isolate her bottom leg and stop it from being able to move freely. Dropping our hips super low can really help stretch the leg out as far as possible. The more we use our knee to bring their leg and knee further from their body, the less they can move. When I retract my knee, look how much Nikki can now move her leg. To enter into the saddle or any other leg lock position from here, the person on the bottom has to bring their knees to their chest and curl in to off balance a strong or skilled opponent. There's no way Nikki can curl in with her leg immobilized like this. By turning my knee towards Nikki, she's unable to bring her knees to her chest and complete the off balance and entrance into the leg lock. In this rolling footage, I actually go from being leg locked into dope mount. I even move my opponent to get a better camera angle. Savage. How do I break the hold he has on me? I turn my knee towards him, which again is what we need to do for dope mount anyways. Then I just bring my legs in one at a time to get to mount. The grips needed are fairly simple, the same as side control, a cross face and an underhook. The cross face and underhook keep Nikki on her back and unable to turn towards or into me. I also take a gable grip for maximum control. The gable grip is one of the most powerful grips in grappling, period. The cross face doesn't need to be the bicep on the face, a shallow cross face like our forearm on the face will also do the trick if that's all you can get. Remember, the cross face just keeps our opponent from being able to turn onto their side. Where the head goes, the body must follow. If the head can't turn, the body can't turn, unless your opponent is a zombie, but then you have worse problems on your hands. Once we have the leg stretched out, we have a clear path for our outside leg to step them out, followed by our inside leg. For many who try it for the first time, it feels like magic, like you're all of a sudden just in mount. The only thing your opponent can do is try and stop you by framing with their elbow to block your knee from coming in. All you have to do is lift up their arm. If there's something in the way in Jiu Jitsu, we have to address it. Before we move on, if you're a fan of the channel and would like to support it, there's a link in the description to join our Patreon. Also, a big thank you to those who already support it. The leg drag is a great place to enter into Dope Mount. It's also a great example of going from speed passing to pressure passing. Combining the two will yield the best results. I used to only pass the speed passing, but really got into more pressure passing when I started training for MMA. You should definitely do both, and I'll definitely be doing a speed passing video soon. The side smash is exactly how it sounds. You smash your opponent's legs to the side. It's one of my favorite passes and there's a clear path to dope mount. Alternatively, you can back step into side control, but I'd rather be a mount if I can get it. Look how as soon as I put my knee between Nikki's legs, I immediately bring it back towards her. You don't want to hang out there long with your knee in between their legs pointing away from them. The arm weave pass is very powerful and you can finish it many different ways, but going to dope mount will bring you more points if you pass into mount rather than side control. Oh man, I love the dogfight. It's my go-to against hard to sweep opponents. I can't wait to make a dogfight video. When I finish the sweep, I either like to go to dope mount or backstep into side control. It just depends if there's space available for my knee to enter. Either way, I'm always very careful to not let my opponent's hips turn back towards me and put me in half guard. Then I've got extra and unnecessary work to do that I could have avoided. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. This is Petrina who films all the videos, she's also one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. Everyone loves Petrina, make sure to say hi.